Hey y'all, it's me again. Just wanted to do a quick walk around and review of my new GV V47 mono key box. Uh, the last video I did, I had absolutely no storage on my bike except for that little tank bag up front. And uh, it's been useful, but man, am I glad to get this. Um, so let me just start with like one or two negatives. Really, it's the only thing I can find. Um, and this first one, really, it's not the box's fault. It's kind of my bike's fault because, as you can see, there's not really any you know protection for mud or road film sling up. And so what happens is it all gets right here on the box underneath. And what I'm worried about is it getting up in the locking mechanism and causing some problems. Um, so if if that starts to happen, I might just have to put some sort of you know homemade guard under here to kind of help it out some. Uh, that's that's one, but it's, like I said, it's not really the box's fault. Um, the other is there's no famous document holder up here. Not that big of a deal because I've got other storage space, but that's one thing that I am going to miss, particularly from this model. Um, but seriously, other than that, that's the only complaints I have. When I bought this box from, um, I forget who I even bought it from, and it's not really GB's fault, I don't think. This was broke, but it's not broke off and it's not going anywhere, so I'm not really that worried about it. Um, other than that, that's really the only negative review. Um, it's a great box. So, like I was saying, this is the GV V47 mono key system. Uh, so if you get the GV mono key side cases, which I plan to, uh, you can get the key to fit all of them. Now something really cool that GV started doing on these, which I think they used to only do on the Maxia, was their um, latch mechanism. So you know, turn the key, hit it, and then you just pick the lid up. There's no more you know, reaching up and having to push it down and this and that. At first I was worried that this would be very secure, but man, I mean, this thing just locks on and it's really easy to push down, pick up. Um, you know, locks it, unlock it. Now the thing that can kind of be an issue is you can take the key out and you can lock the key in there by mistake. But I have absolutely no reason to ever put my keys inside of there. Um, but I just made it a habit that for as long as this box is is open, I just leave my key in there. Um, then anyway, we really easy, smooth, looks great. Uh, I think this comes in two different models the tech and the regular and this is the tech because as you see it's got the clear lenses and so the red lenses and i just think that the look is pretty awesome on this bike uh, matches perfectly and you can either get the black top plate or the silver and i think i spent the extra 20 bucks and went ahead and got the silver um just looks really great this thing is really well made it's uh it's not heavy but it's heavy built and then of course you know the lovely you know gv engineering if i want to take the thing off i just Push this nice little button, and there it is. Comes right off, um, and just snaps right back on. And the way they make this thing, you could—I mean, you've got plenty of room to just pick it up, grab it, and pack it on in somewhere. Not the best-looking suitcase, but um, holds plenty of stuff. So they say you can put two helmets in here. I can't fit two of mine in here. But they say you, you put one standing up and the other on its side, and it should fit. Tons of room in here. Got my cleaner, clothes, uh, Bible notebook, and tons more room. I've gone grocery shopping a couple of times and filled this thing up to the top, and I mean, it just it does marvelous. Um, do beware that it does get a little warm on the inside when it's sitting in direct sunlight, but nothing alarming. Um, really, other than that, that's about all I have to say about it. It's a great box. I'm really glad I got it. It's you know tons of storage space and. I was worried it was going to look too big on this bike, but really it's just perfect. And um, like I said it just shuts real easy. It's a great looking box. Um, and they also have the back pad for it that you can get if you do two up riding. But my girlfriend has her own GS, and hence why I have the pouch right there. Uh, I'll probably never have anybody sitting on my back seat. Um, but great, a great box. I got the plate for it. The I think it's the GVE 194 plate from Revzilla. Bolts right on and this thing slips right on top of it. Any GV mono key box will fit right on top of this. And uh, I mean this is this is great. I'm so glad I was finally able to get it. It makes my life so much easier. No more book sacks on my back. And um, believe it or not, this might sound crazy. 
to some people, and it could just be a mental thing for me. But when I put this thing on here, the aerodynamics of the bike felt like they changed. Because you know, I sit way up, of course, my, my tall windshield still isn't tall enough for me. I'm, you know, six foot three. And uh, anyway, so when I put this thing on, it just felt like the wind kind of went around the bike in a different way to where there was a lot less buffeting behind my head. I could just be crazy, but uh, it seems like that's, you know, that's what happened. But anyway, it just, it, it gives the bike a whole totally different look. You know, it looks awesome with the box on there. And I'm uh, so happy I got it. But if you have any questions about this box that I didn't address in this short video, just uh, comment down below. Please subscribe to my page. I'm going to make a pretty good habit out of these videos. I plan on getting the GoPro or something pretty soon to do some ride review videos. But um, anyway. So have a blessed day, and if y'all have any questions, just comment below. Thanks.